Hello and welcome to my crib. So you saw it before it was done and ta-da! So this is my favorite part. Um, for most girls as well, I think. And this is uh, what was supposed to be the lounge area. But now it's kind of like a study area, so there's a writing desk. So if this gate looks familiar, it is. It's the gate you saw in the previous video. It was the gate to my front door. Um, it didn't work though because for some reason the doorway became very narrow. So we had to take it off um, when the furniture came in and then I realised that it looked better without the gate. So we brought the gate in, gave it a fresh coat of paint and voila, it is now a wall display. This is the living room area, so if you're wondering where the TV is, because I realise a lot of people need to live with TV, well, I think electronics are ugly, so I've kept it hidden. Welcome to the museum. This is where I store most of my vintage finds, and it's also where I have a lot of my own um, treasures, like an old cross-stitch, my old paintings, my favourite books, basically everything and anything that I love goes here. So this is one of my treasured vintage finds, which some people think is just junk. It's basically an old baby's cradle that was restored. So you can imagine it was uh, longer and they just kind of cut it off here and painted it this kind of powder blue. So I love it. It's where I sit down to put on my shoes. This is the dining area. Now, if you notice, um, the last time I brought you in here, it was just one floor. But there's now an upstairs. So this is my bedroom, my wardrobe. Which looks quite neat, I'm quite proud of myself. So this is one of my favourite places in my home. It's where I sit to read, I sometimes sit here to do work. And I love it because I get a bird's eye view of my entire house and my beautiful lights and it's just very, very chill. This is the kitchen where not a lot of cooking happens because I don't really cook and I like to keep my electronics hidden so washer and dishwasher and the fridge My brother said, why would you keep your fridge hidden? It makes it harder to take food Such a guy This is my bathroom Now there's a very vain mirror Ta-da! Which basically makes you look good So I am obsessed with lights. Every single light in this house has been painstakingly chosen by me. Like this one, I found in Chak Chak in Bangkok and I carried it back. You see the main living room lights, the star lights, were lights that I wanted to get for my old apartment but I have never been able to find. So when I finally found them on this site in the US, I got them shipped back. I got every one of the voltages changed to fit the Singapore voltage. So the dining room light um, was from my previous apartment and I was pretty obsessed because I couldn't find a light that I liked. So basically, for the apartment, I went six months with just a stuff where the dining room light should have been. So of course, I had to bring it back to this house. So now you've seen my crib. Remember to subscribe and you can also check out more pictures of my home on Instagram. See you soon! I won't try to hide it cause nobody does